What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. Um, all right, first card is unstoppable. I feel like you are you're in a really good place right now, and and you are divinely protected. I'm also hearing, and you are unstoppable. We have somebody hovering over you. Okay, probably a dark empath. Um, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Um, for those of you who don't know what a dark empath is, basically it's just a negatively polarized empath. Um, who uses their intuitive abilities in order to self-serve, exploit people and self-serve, whereas like a, a, an empath, a positively polarized empath, uses that ability to be able to um, serve the collective and help the collective rise, okay? What else, Spirit? What else do we have going on here? Um, seek guidance. If any of you need a tarot reading, um, you can text me. My phone number is area code 616-485-3479. Let's clarify with the tarot. Ancestors of the highest white light. What is going on? Ancestors of the highest white light. I would like to clarify this hovering. Who is hovering, please? Hmm. Huh. It's like... Um, somebody, hmm, I have the sun card here, hmm, let's see, what else, spirit, now I'd like to clarify, okay, oh, okay, okay, so we have the sun card here, we've also got the two of wands that kind of flew out over the hovering, okay, so, there may or may not be a dark empath. Maybe somebody just needed to understand what a dark empath is. Um, but we'll pull some more cards and we'll see what's going on. The plot may thicken. Who knows? Um, I feel like somebody went through uh, an awakening of sorts. We've got the sun card here. We've got the three of um, swords in the reverse position. Um, and I honestly, I feel like your person is hovering over you, trying to check in on you and see what you're doing to see if it's safe to come in is what I'm hearing. Um, wow, okay, yeah, we've got the Six of Swords, um, so posit positive movement forward, okay, you are their wish fulfillment, um, with the Nine of Cups, we've also got the Hermit here, um, this is Virgo energy, um, Queen of Swords, I feel like they are afraid of you, <laughs> like, cutting them off, essentially, okay, hmm, all right, uh, Queen of Swords is somebody who has been through it. She's, um, sorry, you guys, the lighting. So Queen of Swords is somebody who has, like, been through it, okay? She's been through a lot of life experiences. And um, so I do feel like, I almost feel like you have gone through a journey. You're kind of, like, ending a journey. And you're coming out as the Queen of Swords, as somebody who has a lot more like knowledge and wisdom and more experience to be able to speak to things okay the queen of swords to me is also somebody who is a divine channel and um and she gains all of these experiences in order to be able to channel and help teach other people the hermit may also indicate that um you might want to do some self-introspection to help ground um these um like metaphors and, and stories and experiences and things like that um, into your being so that um, when they need to come out, when you are channeling, they will come out, okay? I do feel like you are somebody's wish fulfillment, though, and they have had a huge awakening with the sun card here. Um, sorry, the lighting, it's like so dark. Let me see. There we go, that's good. Okay, so... Yeah, and then with the um, with the Six of Swords here, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see, gosh. Um, I kind of want you guys to be able to see the table, but okay. So it's kind of like this dude is like rowing away from some rough waters down here. You guys can see that on the card. But he's, he's rowing towards um, like calm waters, okay? So somebody might even be leaving a... Um, like a chaotic situation, kind of like the Five of Wands is what I'm seeing in my head and what I'm hearing here. And this is the highest white light. Adult spirit. Yeah, they're walking away from a situation. Um, this could even be somebody's mother that they're walking away from. 
we've got the Empress and we've got, and that's the message that I'm receiving, okay? And then we've got um, the Six of um, Wands in the reverse position. So I almost feel like the mother was like the dark empath, so to speak, okay? And it's weird because like mothers, we are like our mothers, we are just connected to their DNA. There is a connection there. So it's like they don't even... You can't, it's almost like you can't call them a dark empath. They're just like part of your blood, but they are. So, um, but take what resonates, you guys. I also feel like this person sees you as, um, as somebody who is very nurturing and somebody who is like a mother, so to speak. Um, somebody who helps the world, somebody who has a, a kind heart is also what I'm hearing. A sharing heart, um... And it's almost like this mother, what I'm also hearing, was jealous, okay? Um, so there may have been some interference with regards to that situation there. Um, but we're, we'll clear this energy, actually. I'm going to remix this into the deck. And, um, but they're, they're definitely walking away from that situation. This mother had an escapist mentality. Um, I'm hearing would not take accountability. Um, just basically a narcissist. Um, yeah, all right, what else, spirit? I feel like a lot of uh, soulmates and twin flames are, are like, there's a huge awakening that's happening. You know, we entered into the age of Aquarius, and that shifted the frequency of the planet. And um, a lot of, uh, like, last-ditch effort demons, so to speak, have kind of been coming out of the woodwork, um, fighting that shift, but it's, it's written, it's written in the stars, you know? Um, and this is a shift that was supposed to happen, and it's happening, so. Ooh, baby! Ooh, baby, baby, baby! They see hope! They see hope! They see somebody who is loyal, you are very loyal, and they see, they see you as hope, and they want to come in, and they want to work with you. Okay, two of, of um, I was going to say two of pentacles, um, but two of cups, gosh, wow, ah, maybe I need to take my sun, my glasses off, see better, <laughs> um, and it's just a white light, what else? Okay, I feel like at this time, because they are afraid, I feel like they're, they're like hovering over you to see what your energy is, and at this time, they, they feel like... Your um, your heart is closed, and it's um, it's giving them anxiety about coming in. It's making them feel very ungrounded about coming in. I have the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. Um, I feel like you may have been dealing with somebody, also somebody else, who was like, I have the Ace of Swords here in the reverse position. This is like my fuckboy card. Okay, so I almost feel like you have, you may have been dealing with somebody else who is like a fuckboy, somebody who's just like not honest, somebody who is, I'm literally hearing just like a pain in the butt, okay? And um, you may have been dealing with this and, and it's almost like their soul feels like, um, or maybe you are healing from a past relationship like this. Take what resonates, you guys. These, these, this might just be a message for like one person too, or just a few of you. But um, it's like they don't want that past to be projected onto them. Is the message that I'm receiving? Okay. So, like I said, take what resonates. But this feel, like this, this, um, this energy. The energy of this reading has beautiful, beautiful energy. Like it feels very like. My heart feels very open and like my chakras feel very, I feel very light. So it, it is very good energy. Um, I feel like you are in the Nine of Pentacles energy currently and you're, you're just kind of like, you're sitting pretty. I feel like you're very abundant. Um, and and it's, it's almost like with the Queen of Swords, yeah, we have the High Priestess in the reverse position. Um, so there may have been like a smear campaign of sorts uh, from a um, karmic mother I'm hearing um, that was manifesting as dark magic, um, you know, because uh, words can manifest into uh, frequencies, into, uh, you know, and then they resonate throughout the universe and, and they, can, they can manifest. So um, that may have been creating a sort of darkness. Oh, oh, 
they may have, this may have made you doubt your person's loyalty to you. Okay, take what resonates. It's like this person doesn't want you two to be together, okay? Um, what else, my sisters? Hmm. <laughs> we have like the seven of wands. I also feel like your person is trying to... This is interesting. Your person is trying to fight off... I feel like you have a lot of, um, like, people coming in who want to be with you. Um, hmm. I would like to clarify these Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. King of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. You may have water or earth energy that's just trying to come in. It's Cancer, Virgo energy, Scorpio energy. Somebody needs to open up their heart. Again, like I said, I feel like this this masculine wants to come in, but um, somebody's heart is um, not open is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, Wheel of Fortune. I mean, huh. Let's, I'm actually going to change decks here. Huh. There's a lot of messages coming through, you guys. It's like very scattered. It's, it's I feel like there's a lot going on here. Um... Somebody's having a hard time focusing too. Um, if that's you, Tiger's Eye is really good with that, for that, in that regard. Okay, answers to the high play light. What is going on? What is the message here? Somebody is strategically trying to figure out how they can come in. Somebody wants to come in. And sisters, what else? Yeah, they just, they don't feel like they have the upper hand, though. They don't feel like, they don't feel secure with that, okay? Like, and, and you're just, like, chilling. You're, you're... <sighs> I feel like, um... Mm -hmm. I, I almost feel like you're, like, waiting for them to come in, too. Take what resonates. You both are very upset about not being together, that is for sure. I feel like both of you have had to leave some tough situations. Um, somebody may have even moved, I'm hearing. Um, and it's like both of you want each other. <laughs> and you're both like working on ways to like come in. But, like, nobody's doing anything. I don't... This is a really... This is an interesting read, I guess. Okay? But you're both, like, reading each other's energy. But, like, nobody's making any moves. Um, okay, King of Swords. This is air energy. I feel like... It's like... Uh, I'm hearing, like, going by the book. It's like somebody wants to come in and they want to, like, do this right. And they want to be romantic. But... I don't know, it's like, they want to take you out, but they don't know how to, because I feel like you've been with the, you know this person, you've been with this person before, and there was a separation, and now it's just like weird. I don't know, take what resonates, you guys. Oh, and there's fireworks outside. Yay! Yes, fireworks again. Yeah, I feel like your person feels misjudged, um, or if you're a cross-watcher, maybe you feel misjudged, okay? Uh, they're just kind of like waiting for the opportunity to come in. The Three of Wands here. Um, and I feel like the Divine Feminine is even feeling insecure, okay? But it's interesting because now I have the Chariot card. Um... Cancer energy is highly, um, is highly aspected too, you guys. I have the King of Cups, I have 
a crab in one of the pictures that I keep looking at, and then I also have the chariot, um, which is a, a cancering energy as well. Um, but it's like, but it's like the divine is trying to like pull you guys together, also, okay? Because the chariot is is a, a card of um, divine movement forward, okay? What else, Spirit? Ace of Swords. That is the truth. The Magician. I feel like both of you are trying to manifest each other. I mean, isn't that... I just said that. Both of you are trying to manifest each other. Oh my gosh. Wait, do we need to sit down and talk? <laughs> do we need to have a conversation? Do we need to have a heart-to-heart? -heart? Hmm. What else, Spirit? What, so what is the message? So there was like a tower moment that separated the two of you, okay? Somebody had to go on a journey. The High Priestess. I feel like you are incredibly intuitive. I feel like you know all of this. The Two of Pentacles. I think I had... Somebody was just too busy juggling too many things and that created a separation, okay? Um, three of Swords. It led to some sort of heartbreak. There was definitely some sort of misunderstanding. We've got the Knight of Cups here, though. Like, this person is coming in. This person wants to come in and, and give you a message, say that I miss you, or something like that, an emotional message, okay? Um, what else? Uh -huh. Yeah, Page of Wands, being divinely guided in, okay? Um, Ten of Swords in the reverse position. This person just really wants to make sure that they don't hurt you. This is also the message that I'm receiving. They want to make sure that they do not hurt you. They want to make sure that they do it right this time. Aww, with uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy, okay? So patience. I feel like they've even learned how to be a little more patient. And the Two of Cups, again, they, they want... Um, they want a union, is what I'm hearing. The Two of Cups is partnership, okay? But I'm just hearing that they want union. All right. Um, so there was a third party that interfered. I mean, we already kind of covered that with the, with the narcissistic parent. But let's... Um, yeah, a karmic. Four of Wands in the reverse position. The Four of Wands to me is... Um, it's a twin flame card, and then in the reverse position, it's, it's a karmic. So there was just karmic interference... Um, that created separation. I feel like the two of you are very intuitive, and I feel like coming together, the two of you will understand this, or, or be able to communicate this and um, understand this together. Or, the other message that I am receiving is that you are highly enlightened, you are very aware, aware and um, you, when, when your person comes in, or, or when you and your person reunite and stop getting lost in your head, um, maybe lapis lazuli. I'm hearing lapis lazuli would be very good for both of you to help you open up your throat chakra. And um, tiger's eye also uh, is, is good for this uh, solar plexus chakra um, with regards to like willpower and movement forward, okay? Um, but I digress. Um, shoot. We have the world card here. So this was the end of a cycle. Oh, I feel like the two of you, when the two of you come together and your person communicates to you, I feel like you will understand what has happened, okay? You will understand that this was just a journey, a karmic journey that this person had to go on in order to learn some sort of a lesson, okay? And I feel like the other message that I'm receiving is that this person feels shame. Shame is a low frequency um, emotion. And you, you don't want that. You don't want them to feel shame. We all go through lessons. We all are always learning and always healing. And the sacred directive of relationships in general is to be a mirror for each other and to be a mirror who has compassion um, for the other person to help them um, rise up and out of these uh, difficult um, transformations and journeys and things like that in order to um, be better people for each other, okay? So um, I do feel like that is the reading. Um, we have the world card here that is, uh, you know, Capricorn energy, and uh, it also indicates to me that um, 
from my guides, my guides telling me that this is also the end of a reading, but it is the end of a cycle as well. So um, if anybody needs a personal tarot reading, please let me know. My number is 616-485-3479. Do not hesitate to text me. We can set that up. And um, thank you all for being here. I love you guys so very much. Um, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks.